This guy's called Thunderfoot, and he essentially debunks people's outrageous claims about products that they've produced or funded on Kickstarter or whatever. And uh, I've watched a few of his videos, and yeah, he talks about heliocentrism, but that didn't leave him as an open target until he described Unbox Therapy as, quote, the most vapious shill on YouTube. My general idea was to approach more people about this subject. Now, it's unreasonable to actually um, just start attacking people who happen to mention that the Earth is a sphere for the sake of argument. Most normies are completely unaware uh, that they are in a heliocentric worldview. So to just say, ah, oh, you're telling people this makes you a shill. Now, the reason I've thought about doing this, or the reason I want to do this, is because of a revelation that occurred to me on the show in the last couple of months, which is to say, the ideas of heliocentrism aren't being propagated by a they. In other words, there's a sort of an idea that comes to people when they first come to this subject, certainly it was prevalent back in 2014 when I first came to the subject, that you have got to sort out and find the they that have lied to you about this particular subject. So, as I said, I can't necessarily just go to random sh random YouTuber and start telling them that they're a, a shill for this nonsense on account of the fact that that's, that doesn't seem reasonable. And into my lap plops a YouTuber who is debunking the lies of people who claim their products have everything that you could ever want from a product, and often they're not as they are advertised. So this particular YouTuber, uh, whose name is Thunderfoot, I hope I've pronounced his name correctly, I've only been watching him today. Um, he described another YouTuber, <laughs> this will all make sense in a minute, uh, called Unbox Therapy. And if you're unaware of who he is, he's the guy that sort of made prevalent the bend gate back when the iPhone 6 first came out by snapping one in half and showing how easily it would flex. Anyway. He called this guy, and I quote, the most vapid shill on YouTube. <laughs> and he was detailing it. I think he was detailing an air purifier at the time or something like that. Anyway, this guy basically, as I say, claims to be a scientist, in quotes. He called himself a scientist and goes around with his mathematics debunking people's claims and will often show practical demonstrations. Now, there's no science on his channel as far as I can ascertain. I've not looked thoroughly, but I've looked and I from what I can ascertain, there's no science being done. But he definitely claims to be a scientist. And I think his heart's in the right place too, so I think he'll be a, a reasonable chappy, shall we say, this Thunderfoot guy. Um, however, he is definitely on the offensive <laughs> about people's just-so stories about their products that they claim that they can sell you and fulfil every desire that you could ever want in the area that they're advertising you about. And uh, obviously that simply isn't the case. So he's on the offensive to these guys calling them shills because they're shilling for a certain product. Now often in his videos, Thunderfoot, this is, he will talk about the heliocentric religion. And he'll talk about it in a, in a vein that is exactly the same as everyone else has been exposed to in regards to the heliocentric religion, which is to say he punts it with the just-so stories that are given to him by the priests of heliocentrism. There's no other way of putting it. Now, given that I've only left him a you know a couple of cursory comments on these videos, pointing a few of these details out, to me, he seems like the perfect candidate to actually expose his misapprehension, shall we call them, about the just-so stories he's punting without any scientific validity. So that's kind of my thoughts on uh, Thunderfoot and what exactly it is that he does that relates to what I do when he talks about space and is simultaneously debunking claims of nonsense. Now, frustrating though this may be for me as a flat earther, when I debunk the nonsense just so stories of heliocentrism, I'm open to ridicule for that. You know, I'll be called a shill for exposing stuff using the scientific method and natural law. Now, while this guy is not necessarily propping up his debunkings of each particular given item with the heliocentric method, uh, heliocentric worldview, sorry, uh, he is definitely punting it. 
<laughs> so just whether or not whether or not this guy likes it he's definitely punting the heliocentric worldview and for that reason alone you know it's like well you're selling something mate you know you're selling the world on a religion that's been punted to you by your priests and you know as much as you don't maybe appreciate that you're selling something when you're telling people about gas pressure and showing the world and pointing out where the nearest atmosphere is in a 10 to the minus 17 tall vacuum whilst telling people how a condenser dryer that's supposed to be using vacuum power to dry clothes isn't you know <laughs> you know your comparisons need to be sharpened up and i'm going to be the one to point out this to the, this guy why not um he's ultimately just a joe normie as far as i can tell yes he claims to be a scientist yes he's debunking people but given that he's on the offensive i see him as a prime candidate to have some of his errors in regards to the religious worldview of heliocentrism pointed out to him so that was just something that i wanted to share with my well, initially my members and uh, eventually in a couple of days time my nathan oakley channel member not channel members subscribers on the second channel that's right get there in the end uh, so yeah that's basically it i just wanted to share with you my ideas and views while i set up for uh, the live show and indeed for what would normally be the uncut and after this show. guy's called thunderfoot and he essentially debunks people's outrageous claims about products that they've produced or funded on Kickstarter or whatever. And uh, I've watched a few of his videos. And yeah, he talks about heliocentrism, but that didn't leave him as an open target until he described Unbox Therapy as, quote, the most vapious shill on YouTube. I'm like, right, OK, now this all makes sense. You're debunking people who make up stories about stuff that they're either reviewing or producing and you're exposing them. But you're also telling them about how gas pressure works, calling yourself a scientist when you do maths, and purveying this idea that we live on a sphere with gas pressure in a vacuum. He's even got pictures of it. So I thought, okay, well, you're out there as a seemingly decent chap debunking nonsense, and so am I. Now, without getting into the moans about, well, you get held up and praised, 900,000 subscribers, I get called a shill and ridiculed for being a flat earther, even though we're essentially doing the same thing, exposing it. I just do it better than he does because I don't claim science where there isn't any. He does. But that's excused by the masses because they're all programmed with this to believe the sky is a vacuum. But when you're out there overtly and aggressively debunking other people's claims as far as i'm concerned that leaves you as a fair target for claims you've made that are incorrect in this case about heliocentrism so therefore my idea to get this idea well just the nature of reality in reality uh that across to a more mainstream audience requires somebody or in this case a youtuber that can be focused on so in the past it's just been whoever has made a youtube video it doesn't matter what they are let's say it's engineering explained he does videos about mm -hmm. how engines work and that's his that's his thing right but then he makes a video about flat earth so suddenly because of his overt aggression towards the subject matter he becomes a target for us to respond to pro not proactively reactively well generally because of the revelation i've had in the last couple of months who is the they who is punting the lie of this globe who's they Anybody? Anybody at all? Yes. There's all the people who parrot what they hear as truth without taking a stand and finding out for sure. So they is everybody. Precisely. So they is everybody. But everybody isn't fair game just because they've been brainwashed. That would be unreasonable. But you are fair game if you're of the type of ilk that debunks other people based purely on their just-so stories as Thunderfoot does. So he's like a like a root in to exposing somebody who has uh, he's got an association to the topic. He talks about the sky vacuum. So as far as I'm concerned, it's like well, you're fair game. You know, you're punting this nonsense. And it, although it's only recently that I've realised this, and we on the show collectively have realised this, that they is absolutely anybody who parrots this nonsense as a just so story without any scientific validity. And in this case, that's Thunderfoot. One of many. One of millions. Billions of people who do exactly the same thing. <laughs> but he overtly attacks people as shills for, for making up just so stories about a hairdryer or a piece of electronics or a telescope. Yeah, even more so him because his show topic is about that. And then he's doing it. Exactly. So that's like... When, when you think, who who can you 
take this to. Unless they're like Engineering Explained and making a video about the subject, it seems unreasonable to just go and attack random Joe who happens to mention the sky vacuum in his, in his story about something else. But if your story about something else is debunking how people shouldn't be making up stories, that makes you fair game. Gas giants existing in the vacuum of space. They don't even question it. Like, uh, how does that work with the second law? I mean, they're, they're not thinking. They're just puppets. I was, say, I was talking in the pre-show about this guy I've recently come across called Thunderfoot, who goes around debunking outrageous claims of manufacturers and reviewers about products that they sell. And he was describing in one of his videos about a vacuum-powered, uh, like, tumble dryer. And he was utilising a picture that was from one of the Apollo missions, Earthrise. Fairly common picture people know what I'm talking about. If you don't, oh well. <laughs> anyway, he's got that picture up and he explains how NASA had worked out the thermodynamic requirements for the men travelling to the moon. Yeah? So he's bragging about this with this picture of Earthrise. <laughs> and in the background, obviously, you've got Earth, which is claimed to be a ball with high pressure gas on the outside of it sat in a 10 to the minus 17 tor vacuum from that vantage point with the gas not dissipating into the space. So my comment to Thunderfoot was, isn't it interesting how we can calculate the thermodynamic violation, uh, my bad, calculate the thermodynamic needs of a person who will be travelling to the sky vacuum and yet in the picture, Earth itself is violating the second law of thermodynamics. Isn't that interesting? Did you, did you get a response? I, I don't know. I was talking about it, as I said in the pre-show. I've been thinking for a while based on two things. First is the revelation that who is they? They is anybody who perpetuates this nonsense about us being on a ball flying through a vacuum in violation of natural law, spinning with no evidence of such a claim that we can see Coriolis effect when we don't turn underneath anything that's in the air. So all of this stuff that we appreciate is punted by General Joe Bloggs Normie. Now, in the case of this dude, Thunderfoot, he's actually out there aggressively debunking people who make up just so stories about products. Now, the globe's just a product being sold to you. It's also a religion. You probably don't appreciate that if you're on the side that thinks you're on a globe. Nevertheless, it's just a product being punted to you for reasons that you may not or may not appreciate. In any event, this dude who's saying, look at this guy, he called... <laughs> Unbox therapy, I quote, the most vapid shill on YouTube. So clearly he's out there calling people shills, right? So he's aggressively attacking people for making up stories whilst punting the rhetoric the priests of heliocentrism have given him about a sky vacuum, second law of thermodynamics violation, gas that's not filling it, whilst demonstrating to a guy with a vacuum dryer that that's not really how vacuums work. <laughs> right, mate. But they work like that with earth in space do they no mate that violates natural law and i feel that it's appropriate for someone like him specifically him i can't think of any other examples which is why i've put this out to my members and if you're watching this on tuesday the people on nathan oakley channel it's like who else is there out there like this because we can't just go after joe normie who talks about space that's totally unreasonable all right they're just like the the worker ants if you like in this scheme i'm not saying people are like worker ants i'm just saying in the scheme of the brainwashing of heliocentrism they don't know any better you know, so therefore it's unreasonable to go after that guy and say, look, you're just punting the rhetoric of this religion we've all been poisoned with. They'll go, whoa, 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 what have I done? All I did was say that the moon looks pretty and isn't it nice in the vacuum up there? What, you know what I mean? Whereas this guy is totally different. Thunderfoot is is uh, aggressively calling people out for making up stories. Oh, right. Well, he'll get praised for that, won't he? Well, when we point out the stories that you've all been lied to about, in this case, your religion, you'll fight us. Well, I think it's time we expose this to the masses with somebody who's claiming to be a scientist. That would be Thunderfoot, even though he just does maths. But that aside, he seems like a very reasonable guy. And he understands when he's debunking the nonsense of people's claims about vacuums, how thermodynamic laws are applied. So, hopefully, if I'm you know, carefully pointing out to him that, no, no, your example actually includes a second law of thermodynamics violation, he might widen his eyes a little. He might not. He might just get very aggressive with me like the people he's dealing with when they're flogging their bullshit. <laughs>